has many definitions. It can be the natural agent that gives us sight and makes us see things. The sun gives us light. It can be to give us light or to illuminate. Bands light and torches give us light. It can be to make something start burning. We can light a fire. What does light mean to you? Light means to me when the God created the sun, moon and the earth. What does light mean to you? Light means to me when I can't see, I turn the light on. What do light means to you? Light means being kind to others. As Christians, we see that Jesus is the light of the world. How could we be like Jesus and shine our lights? I can say kind words. I can help my friends. I can look after the Lord, what God made for us. I can show love. I can work hard. I can play nicely with my friends. You show your light like Jesus. I show my light like Jesus when I help my mum and dad around the house. How have it said? Your light like Jesus. I have shown respect to my teacher by listening. How have you shown your light like Jesus? I've helped my friends when they felt down and I've helped them with their struggles. On the second February, we celebrate Candle Mass. May I show this? presented the baby son to God as an act thank you. They met the prophet Cinnamon and Anna. These two realize that this child is special. So part of God's story is about Anna and Simeon, and it goes like this. For hundreds and hundreds of years, God had been promising his family, the Israelites, a rescuer and king. He told them that this rescuer would come as a baby and would be his very own son. People waited a long, long, long time for the Savior to come. Lots waited their whole lives. Well, when Jesus was finally born, there was a man living in Jerusalem named Simeon. He was especially excited for God's promised king because he loved God and followed him with his whole heart. He even got to talk to God through the Holy Spirit. Nowadays, anybody who follows Jesus gets to talk to the Holy Spirit any time. But before Jesus was born, the Holy Spirit only talked to some people, and Simeon was one of them. Anyway, one of the things the Holy Spirit told Simeon was that the baby king would be born while Simeon was still alive. Since God had been promising the rescuer for hundreds of years, this was a big deal. Simeon would actually get to meet God's rescuer just didn't know when. On the night of Jesus' birth, angels appeared to shepherds and announced Jesus' arrival. They excitedly ran out, telling everyone they knew. But remember, there weren't phones or internet back then, so not everyone knew that Jesus had been born, including Simeon. A little while after Jesus' birth, the Holy Spirit told Simeon to go to the temple. He may not have known why, but he obeyed anyway. Good thing he did, because while Simeon was at the temple, Mary and Joseph brought their new baby Jesus to the temple too, to dedicate him to God. As soon as Simeon saw Mary and Joseph with Jesus, he knew who Jesus was. We don't know exactly how he knew, but he did. Simeon took Jesus in his arms and said, Lord, you are the king over all. Now let me, your servant, go in peace. That is what you promised. 
With my own eyes, I have seen what you have done to save your people. See, Simeon was getting pretty old, and meeting Jesus was the one thing he wanted in his life. Now that the rescuer was here, he was ready to die in peace. There was someone else in the temple that day, a woman named Anna. For many years, she had stayed at the temple day and night, worshiping God through fasting and prayer and talking to God through the Holy Spirit, like Simeon. The Bible doesn't tell us exactly how long she'd been there, but by this time, she was 84 years old. She knew God well, and like Simeon, she had been waiting for the king God had promised. Sure enough, Anna came by just as Simeon was talking to Mary and Joseph. Immediately, she praised God. The king was finally here, just as God promised. When Simeon and Anna met Jesus, they were overcome with joy. The Bible tells us that faith is being sure of what we hope for. It is being sure of what we do not see. Simeon and Anna were sure that God had promised to send a rescuer. They were sure he was coming. And when they saw Jesus, they were sure the rescuer had arrived. All because they had faith that God keeps his promises. On the second day of February, many people bring their candles to their local church. The candles are blessed in mass. People bring home their candles and use them for the rest of the year. This week's scripture is from John chapter 8, verse 12. Scripture tells us Jesus is the light of the world. And that if we follow him and live by his examples, we will always shine brightly. To reflect on the word this week, we are going to pray paper sun catcher prayer. You will need a tub of sunflower oil, some cotton buds and some colourful paper. Take a piece of colourful paper and make a design with the oil cotton buds. You might want to write words about yourself or Jesus. We are the light in the world. We let the light of Jesus shine through us through the things we do and say. Just as the light shines through the patterns we eat with the oil. When you have finished your design, blue tack your designs to the window. Then let the light the, let the light shine through them as you hang it on the window. Pray that other people will come to see that light. Your mission the week is to shine the light through all that you do and say. Links our school. Mission statement because we can create a better tomorrow if we shine our light like Jesus.